Welcome to the bold analysis ladies and gentlemen. Yesterday it was a big night for Azimula Umoja Brigade and by the way I took almost all the 4 hours glued uh, in the cameras uh, in the in the screens so that I really have an idea of what Azimio Manifesto was actually looking like. In this video, we are going to delve deep in that manifesto. But what I was looking at is a little bit different with what you might be expecting. <laughs> However, this will be an interesting video, I can assure you. I can assure you. So, um, some few um, observations that you'll see there. One is that um, the organization of that manifesto. When it started, uh, I was a little bit skeptical because things were a bit gloomy, but I think it gained momentum pole pole until it reached the climax. So in terms of organization, I think uh, you need to give uh, the people, the, brain, the brains behind that a very good, uh, a very big tick can give them eight out of ten. Um, if you look at the mood, the mood was good. Of course, it was an invite, so people who were invited in that event uh, were already um, people who, of course, subscribed to the ideals of Azimula Umoja. Another uh, thing that I think also created a lot of anxiety among Kenyans is the media coverage and someone was asking me because from six all the way to the nine when the event was coming to an end all the mainstream media were uh, focusing their lenses on nyayo now that 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 was captured because someone was asking was it a paid airtime or it is a bias no i need to clear this huh? that is what is called public interest so perhaps in terms of maybe there's a payment i don't think it gets to the bill but it's more of a public interest there was the interest of the public is there and sometimes when one media house is shined almost everyone is focusing there and that's why last night uh, you realize that we did not produce videos at that time because the interest of the country was in nyayo um very 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 good coverage and by that time by the way william ruto conducted the economic forum in garissa up to the night it was going alongside that event it is for the first time that the garissa um and if you check this video here this is a video when when the manifesto launch was going on he the the the, the, the economic forum in garissa was going all through that time and that was strategically wisely enough so that he would prevent supporters of him, the online supporters uh, that support him, are getting glued to the Azimio, uh, to the Azimio event. And that's why he decided to make sure that his team will still be active. I picked an observation that for me was looking very good. I want you to look into the personality of Mata Karua. And welcome to this auspicious occasion. Now, guys, that should be the conduct of a deputy president. Because uh, unlike what happens, and, and this used to be, when deputy president is attending an event where President Uru Kenyatta is, you will feel an element of competition. Why he wants to make a very long speech when President comes in, Kamasha Sema, everything that the boss is supposed to play. And that shows the submissive nature of, let me say in this video, Mama Mata Karua. That she really carried herself very well. And for me, that was a very important thing to happen. Now, I don't know whether you realized that, that Railo Dinga and Kalonzo Musioka in their speeches, they attributed, they gave some tribute to one of the persons that was missing in that event, President Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta. <laughs> Uhuru Kenyatta was missing in that event, but um, my good friend, <laughs> my good friends we talk online will tell you, oh, Uhuru was not there, but kuna watu walikuwa up and they're just the faces of Uhuru. You will see uh, Peter Munya, Cecil Karaoke, 
there are quite a number of uh, people from government who are there and the two leaders attributed they gave some tribute to president uhuru kenyatta question uhuru kenyatta is the chairman of azimula umoja one kenya council why was he missing he was not there in person but he was watching watching virtually from state house or whether he is out of the country can't confirm that however um one thing you will see is there is his hand now that is why what that that is what what personal cosmetics that is what what people will see in the screens then it came the the, the 10 point agenda we are going to break down we are going to look at that in a bit of breakdown what do you think kenya kwanza team were looking up for in that manifesto launch if 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 uhuru rail odinga's if if president if deputy president william ruto strategist are seated and they want to they if they watch if they were to watch that manifesto what do you think they were looking up for i'll i'll tell you that because that is an element that is going to play in this election uhuru kenyatta power hand in azimula umoja that is what they are looking and if anything you will see when william ruto's team goes to rally they will pick that which they feel is the hand of president uhuru kenyatta now in this video i have broken that into some five indicators that i saw there but before we do that kindly subscribe to our channel that if you look at that manifesto yes it is a bit of a blackout from the 2017 jubilee and 2017 nasa and some new additives depending on um, picking on railo dingas economic forums that they was holding before when it was transversing the country before he announced his bid to vie for presidency there is the slightest hint or rather very open hint by president uhuru kenyatta on who he is going to hand over power from and i want to make this uh, clearly there was an um element of continuity continuity in the sense that by the way even if you are to take government the current um the current administration that is going to be sworn in is going to inherit president uhuru kenyatta's budget before next week the president will sign the finance appropriation bill which will then roll out activities of the ministries and and the other projects that government is supposed to run so that means that financial this financially will run until next year so the next administration is going to start on 2023 that will be there if Raila Odinga wins or if William Ruto wins his first budget will be in 2023 so the continuity aspects was very important and let me explain why uh, why, why continuity uh, is why Azimio Lamwaji was looking at continuity because for example there is this project Yalinda Mama that helps young mothers to access to free maternal health care and it covers even now the delivery such a project is been implemented now it has really helped young girls to access that health material uh, that, that health service if there is no element of continuity there's going to be disruptions and to avoid disruptions uh, as the mula umoja uh, manifesto had to have an element of continuity number two it is very important so that if there is an allocation uh, for example of uh, a project that is going on uh, let, let's talk of tiba dam like if tiba dam is still going on and there was an allocation from the national government without an element of continuity um even if raila takes over government the next day or whoever takes over government the next day there will be a feeling like some areas have been left out so those gaps will not really well and and of course it can create some simmering acrimony between even within the cabinet now where am i why am i seeing continuity i looked at the debt servicing the debt servicing i think uh Ray Ludinga spoke about restructuring a negotiation on how they can service debt for example they can negotiate with china say instead of paying you after two years give us instead of starting paying you like this year give us time we say we start paying you 
the next year. The debt servicing is part of what Uhuru is building on what Uhuru has because Uhuru has been, has been blamed for someone that borrowed a lot. So he had to address that. Now, another issue that also uh, speaks on continuity, and I picked this very well, is the reforms in agriculture. The agriculture reforms that they have spoken about, about the value addition, lowering the prices of the products, and also um, investing in the agricultural sector, you could see it because actually the current Minister for Agriculture, Peter Munya, was the person that was given the microphone to address the issue of agriculture. Listen to Peter Munya. Saidi, yokila mtu ambaye anahitaji kuingia kwa kilimo, anaweza ku access affordable credit, aweze ku invest kwa kilimo. Pia tuhakikishe tumeenda kule tunaisa value addition ya kilimo. Tuache mambo ya kutumia raw material, I mean kuuza eh vitu vyetu vya kilimo ikiwa vile imetoka kwa shamba tuweze kuongezea value ndio wakulima na wale wasikandao wengine wanahusika kwa sekta ya kilimo waweze kupata pesa saidi kwa mifuko mifuko yao na ndio tuweze kuuza kule nje kwa masoko yale mengine vitu vya kilimo ambayo tumeweza kuongezea value ile tunaita value addition now that is peter minya and do you know that in the Rela's cabinet uh, uh, um, uh, the, the, the temporary cabinet that he announced, Peter Munya is current CS for agriculture and Raila decided to retain him there according to what was done during the Mata Karua's um, the official unveiling. That tells you that he's simply going to develop, he's trying first to develop from what Uhuru is doing or what Uhuru is, is handing over. So the, the element of condition is there because Rahila must meet with Uhuru and tell Uhuru this is the reality. This is where we are. This is what you can do. And like someone who is going to make a manifesto from the blues, someone is going to say, I'm going to give 30 billion here, I'm going to give 20 billion here, I'm going to do 4 billion here. When you say that, you seem not to be in tandem with the reality. And that is one thing that you can see. Number two, um, another thing that also played out on Uhuru's Hanover strategy is the transition gesture with the KDF. For the first time in this election, there's been a conversation around, in this politics, conversation around helping the police. And I think our good friend, uh, um, our, 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 the running mate on the other side, uh, Regani Geshagwa, at one point was speaking about police who are kazi, siju waende wa soma upate degrindu wapate shahada, wapate kazi, while that has been there. And Raila mentioned about um, supporting something on the KDF and the police. Now, the KDF and the police, for me that was very interesting. For the first time, what we can get manifest 2017, the issue of the KDF has never been there. But Uhuru Kenyatta in his administration worked very closely with the men in uniform and many of the projects, the, his legacy projects were actually undertaken by the KDF. So Raila's gesture, Raila extended generosity or rather dalliance with the KDF, rather the military, is one that is perceived as a way or rather showing confidence because Uru Kenyatta is the commander-in-chief or rather giving confidence to the military that even though they've had a very good run with President Uhuru Kenyatta, Raila Odinga's administration is going to leave them out. Remember the Kenya Meat Commission that was handed over to the military gaze is one of the best performing parastatals in this country. And yeah, they're even exporting meat out of Kenya. They returned it, they, they, they revamped it to a, a profit generating opportunity. So this has been there and that is why it is also a very good gesture on Raila's olive oil with the KDF. Devolution. And devolution was the one man, one shilling vote, uh, one, one county, one product. One county, one product, uh, what it actually says is uh, there are counties that are endowed with different resources. If you look at Kericho, it's big on tea. Uh, if you go to Rift Valley, uh, if you go to central Kenya, uh, they're big on academia, avocado, and coffee. 
when you remember the coffee reforms that are going on, look at Transoia. They are big in maize. Uh, same to Kisumu. Kisumu is doing good in terms of the fish because of the resource that is there, the lake. So what that um, maybe that what the policy around the one man, the one county, one product would be value addition on already pre-existing resources. So for example, in 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 coast, Saisal is doing well. Kamu we shall end up along Kitoka Voyo that area. There is a very big Saisal plantation there. So. Um, Sasa is doing well in those areas. What you do, you establish a company in such a county so that whatever is there, there is value addition on it, then it can be used, uh, it can be sold maybe outside the country or also outside the county. I checked on foreign policy. Foreign policy is when Railo Dinga captured the East African uh, Federation where he spoke about the bigger uh, ambition of coming up with the East African Federation. See, let me tell you, one of the key uh, negotiators for DRC Congo to join East African uh, Federation, the East African community, was Railo Dinga. <laughs> and recently, Railo Dinga came from Sudan and went to Uganda, where he held a close door meeting with Museveni. And centered around the East African Federation. So with the presence of now, and, and Uhuru Kenyatta is the chairman of East African community, if you remember, he got that position, I think, last year. This is something that will be a very good uh, input, especially for what Raila Odinga will probably be looking at. Over the big four, I realized that agriculture, manufacturing, and health was big, but technically they left out housing. Affordable housing. Affordable housing was is a little bit capital intensive. So this is just a, a snippet of what personally captured, and this is what greatest hint of hand over hint to Royal Odinga by President Uhuru Kenyatta. Especially, let me tell you, look out for the Kenya Kwanza manifesto. If they do manifesto out of this with without with, with not the reality of the country, then honestly, they are going to find themselves in trouble.